Hey guys, welcome to another Critique the Community. I'm so happy because we have convinced Josh Rossi to drive across the island of Puerto Rico and be here today. And he's gonna be helping us critique images of composites. That's kind of your specialty, right? Yes, it is. If you would like to be a part of the next critique, we're going to be doing the theme technology. So whatever falls under that heading, if you wanna be a part of it, click on the link in the description of this video. You can upload those pictures right away. Let's go ahead and get to this. Josh, I don't think you've ever seen a critique of ours before, right? No, I'm not. So this image, we just start off with the highest rated one. So this, this is the highest rated image in the entire critique, and we give them a free tutorial on fstoppers.com slash store. David will be reaching out to you, but are you ready to rate this image? We're gonna go three, two, one, and then throw a number. I've already explained it, it in the rating system. Three, two, one. Three, I give it four. Okay, so three is a solid image. Four is excellent. This is excellent in my mind. Why only a three? Well, I, I mean, a three and a half. I okay. think it's excellent, but the, my first thought when I saw it was that this was, it was a birthday party confetti. That's what I thought. My first visual look at this, I thought that this was confetti. Like he had like hit a confetti thing. <laughs> that was my instant thought. The only thing, the only critiques I have, like it's amazing, lighting's awesome, colors are freaking cool. It seems like a birthday party image to me. Like, I mean, not, no, you know, no disrespect. I just think there's too many of the white, like snow debris, which is coming from nowhere. It seems kind of distracting, like the, the white stuff. I would say get rid of the white, like some of those white dots, debris, and leave the, the red sort of... Um, uh, flares or fire embers and then the only other critique I have is I didn't really know what the are you showing this on the screen yeah they'll see it so I don't know what the I realized after looking at this for like two minutes what those were the like the legs coming out of him yeah it must be a certain genre of spider-man I don't really know either it's well, like that, the, that's like the Avengers spider-man he has like the oh have okay. you seen that no. no he has like the no you haven't seen Avengers I thought I have I don't remember him having like dr. octopus legs was that that was the second one? Okay, I don't and I don't remember. Anyway, so it, yeah, he has the, he has this. So but the thing is, I didn't I didn't understand that, and I just think I just think they should be placed a little bit different. So normally, I would rip you apart for ripping this photographer apart. However, this is kind of what you do. <laughs> I've seen your work, and well, you rip, rip me apart. I want to hear it. Well, I we'll I just feel like you're being really tough, especially on all the artifacts and stuff around. I just, I think this image is fantastic. I mean, this is great. I mean, it is awesome. It is awesome. Somebody's, somebody's critique that I thought is probably true is that the nose, you know, to, to keep it true to the character of Spider-Man, his nose is a little prevalent in this shot, and maybe you could tone that down a little bit. Yeah. But having the confetti, as you call it, to me, it's kind of like, you know, embers or sparks. That's what my mind goes to. Uh, it feels I, like snow. Doesn't it feel like? I mean, no disrespect. Like whoever did this, Salazar, right? Dude, What's he's he's never gonna take another picture again after this. No, no, this You've is ruined his life. No, dude, this is this is awesome. I love this shot. It's Don't the, backtrack now, Josh. No, it's I too already late. said. I already said I love it. I think I need think he needs the critique to take it to the next level. Like I mean, like I'm looking at that, and it's too too many embers. It looks like confetti. Like literally. Like you gotta tone it down. Tone it down. So not. It looks you, like snow. It looks like confetti. Yeah. It's too much. Okay. That's so, all. So you're not completely against it. Just too much of it. Yeah. I love. I mean, I like it. I do embers all the time. It's just like where are those coming from? It looks like snow. It looks like I. I don't know. Anyway, all right. That's all. Well, but the it's community. Awesome. Awesome. Rated it 3.63. So that's they don't... what I would rate it. I said three and a half. Okay, so okay. Close. Next up, we give the highest rated person a free tutorial, and then we give one random submitter a free tutorial as well. Got it. Uh, pick a random number. Uh, seven. Okay, when we get to number seven, you will get a free tutorial as well. Sweet. All right, so here is the next shot. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Wait. Yeah. Snapshot yeah. needs work. Solid image for your portfolio. Excellent. World class. All right. Yes. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and 2. a three 8. on this one. Two point eight. Okay. Two point six. I, I I feel like I feel <clears throat> like this could definitely be a solid image. I love the concept of this. Very clever concept. 
Here's okay. a strange critique I might have for this. I, when I'm shooting or I'm looking at images of food, 99% of the time, I want the shadows being cast towards the camera, down, downward. This is kind of being shot straight down. And having the light placed in the bottom left-hand corner firing upward feels weird to me with food. It's also weird with people to have up lighting on their face. Totally. And I feel like that may be my biggest critique <clears throat> of this image. Yeah, I was gonna say the shadow on the top right, it's like it's like a scary light, you know, right. coming from down and up. So really, yeah, I just don't like the shadows. That's the only thing. It looks, yeah, shadows, I would, to fix it, I would brighten up the shadows, the dark shadows around the girls, around the edges, you know, the rolling pin, like like what you're saying, just, br just lighten those up. And then I think the composite looks really good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, surprising to the point where you think like, w did she shoot that with a gigantic, gigantic yeah. <laughs> like flower around the kids? Yeah. Like it's really, it's really good. Yeah, I love the any... concept. What do, what do you think about the composition of all of these different pieces here? Because it, it, it feels too sloppy to me. Yeah. And, and, and the way my eye moves around this, like the bottom left is the brightest part in the entire scene and there's nothing down there. Look at, like, look at that. Like, I okay, think, so, I think like, so you've zoomed in a little bit here. To, I think that's much stronger. I think, I think that's much stronger. I think it's way better. It like cuts off all the excess stuff and it's just focused on the girls. Okay, here, the first thing I focused on was the, like what you said, empty space at the bottom and then the shadow at the top. So I, was, I would cut it, I would totally just crop it. Like that's a good, crop right there. Community gives it 3.6. So this was almost the highest rated image. This was the second highest rated image. That is false. <laughs> Just kidding, no disrespect, it's a cool shot. I love how you talk trash, but then you say no disrespect, <laughs> like everything's fine. No, because I feel bad, like I give harsh <laughs> reviews, but like. But no disrespect. No disrespect. No, because okay. it's a really cool shot. Like All it right, is. next up. Three, two, one. Three. It, it feels like you're looking at my number and then slowly throwing no, the no, same no. number. I was, I was confused if I was throwing four or three and I like had to hold my pinky. I was like. Do you like this better than Spider-Man? No, I like Spider-Man better. But I mean, this this overall, like the, the composition, like a, she looks a little bit too big, like her versus the motorcycle. I agree. Like There's something. Big. First of all, this <clears throat> background plate looks fantastic. Yeah. The really color cool. grade looks fantastic to me. Yeah. Something though about her and the way she fits in this scene doesn't seem totally totally realistic. I think part of that she was is shot at a different angle almost. Maybe it, it it's like the lighting doesn't quite make sense. The shadow that she's casting on the ground doesn't quite make sense. The reflection of the shoes don't quite make sense with the shadows going the way they're going. So it kind of makes me, it takes me out of the image. And then I feel like potentially the worst part of this image is her pose and her expression. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the technical aspects of the lighting and the, the color grading and everything is fantastic. Totally. I think, I think like, I think the bike looks too small and she's a little bit too big. And then it feels like there's an issue with um, this being shot at the same angle as the background. It seems like she was shot like down, or I don't know, anyway, yeah, I agree with you. Also, also the double shadows, a lot of people don't focus on those. Like you see, like what you said, there's shadows coming from the orange lights diagonally but then there's she has this rim light on her and there's no shadow going this way yeah you know so a lot of times you look at shadows like whichever one's brightest will cast the darkest shadow but you know on this side he, she he should is this guy or girl i can't remember who did this i think it's a girl or no no i'm saying the photographer oh i don't know do you remember okay well um just put do the double shadow shrink her down um and yeah i think the lighting next time i would have what i would have done is lit it uh, just just do two rim lights. I would almost just done two rim lights. Oh, that'd be interesting. Cause then, cause here, yeah, there's- Well, that would, you know, that would make a lot more sense with this pose and this expression. Yeah. Because she would be in darkness now, it'd be a lot eerier, yeah, you know? Yeah, totally. 
but but because you have this really beautiful key light on the model but then she's not looking at the camera and she's looking down depressed it feels yeah yeah awkward. so there's it's like very close i think it's good but. community says 3.28 all right oh my holy crap <laughs> <laughs> what the freak? What in the world? Are you ready? <laughs> oh my so gosh. remember the rating system. One is a snapshot that anyone could do. So no matter how bad this is, it's not... With our rating system, this cannot be a one. Okay? No, I got it. Okay. I got it. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> this is your this is the finest image that you've seen in the critique so far. No, no, but this is why. Listen, so so this is the type of image that I think like gets it's like so hilarious that it's obviously it seems like it's an obvious joke. Sure. Like right? Yeah, it's of course like it is. Like it's an obvious joke. It's something that like I would put on my front page and have me as the photographer, the photographer name. Like I almost think that this is like very effective because it catches somebody's attention. Well, that is very true. And you have become the king of viral photo series. And you're absolutely right. It's sad to say, but out of every image that we've seen so far and every image we will see in this critique, this will be the one everyone remembers. Like I guarantee if you sent this out to try to get work from commercial companies, <laughs> you would get noticed above all other photos on here that's why i give it a four okay like, i'm but, not even but, gonna <laughs> i'm not even gonna critique the the you know oh, okay we can critique how the can compositing. you critique perfection you know when something's this good but here's the thing though <laughs> i see what you're saying all right fine too and i completely but i agree with you to an extent about the four and and monty i have you met monty no I, I know about you know him. of him yeah. okay He's really quirky like this too. And he's always sending out ridiculous stuff and making these crazy jokes and stuff. And I can see him sending out a mailer to the most high-end agencies with this. Yeah. I could see him doing something like that. But you kind of have to know that the guy and it's a joke. And then you have to be able to see other work, well, right? Like this couldn't be your whole website. Well, but, but here's the thing. If it's a bad photo, I would have rated it too. Because... Like, like, I just laughed. There was nothing bad about this photo for me. Like, it was well, everything's really, bad about this photo. Well, exactly. But in my mind, I'm like, dude, this would be awesome to, to send to a client. See, this is the thing. If I were to receive this, you would notice it, first of all, and you definitely would go to their website. Yeah. And then on their website, this could be the first one, and then you could have, like, other images. Just right. Whatever. I just love this shot. I think it's so genius. <laughs> and I don't even care about the compositing. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Like, like obviously, there's blur <laughs> spots. Like, he took, like, a clip art and like pasted it in and like the edges are all weird on each side and I'm curious like every once in a while pretty much on every critique people upload joke photos I mean just to perfect. try to make it in I wonder if this photographer even took this or if this was something he grabbed off reddit or so I don't know I you know maybe maybe he did take it and he's an artistic genius we Why can move on I, yeah I want to see actual photos from this guy whoever did this you should seriously send me all right, I I'll really send, want to I'll see. send him your contact. 2.4. That's the community score. All right, next up. All right. Okay, wait. When we say when we say three and four, like it's good to promote on your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Like, are we talking to get work or it's just to just to so show? So that's kind that's kind of a, a difficult question, and, and the way that we have tried to rate these images is based on the genre that they are so Got this it. photograph could be like a commercial photographer a it could cosplay, be a cosplay it could, like thing. it could be all these different things Got if it. we see a wedding picture coming up i tend to rate wedding photographs a little bit more leniently because you're not working with professional models mm -hmm. a lot of times you have to get the shots on the day of the wedding like with a few seconds to work and so putting that image in your portfolio it needs to be a little bit more spur of the moment Whereas an image like this, that's more commercial, they could have planned this for months and like they don't have an excuse if something's not right. Yeah. Okay, so, so, I hope let's, that helps. so let's go. Ready? Three, mm. two, one. Four stars, we agree. What do you think about it? It's awesome, like I can't find anything that I would change. Like it's really cool. I, I really the like the composition of this. That <clears throat> diagonal line of the black on the upper left and the white in the bottom right, I feel like it's just totally. incredible. 
And then the, the way that they've got that uh, flame kind of being pushed back, it just feels like a lot of motion and emotion in this yeah. shot. Yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I don't either, but it's cool. <laughs> I mean, this is like, yeah, like cosplay something or a movie poster. I don't know. It's cool, though. I love it. Community okay. yeah. gives it 3.61. This might have been officially the second highest rated image. Then yes. the gingerbread yes. kids. That's cool. I agree with that. So, do you recognize the face on this Louis Vuitton bag? No. Who's that? That is me. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I, ha I had to throw this in there because somebody uh, oh, without used my face. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I think what they have done, I think they have taken my face behind me. They have put the viral image of Peter Lick, his moonshot. I think that's what this is. Am I right, Patrick? <laughs> And then what's going on with my head? Is that my head has become the moon itself? I don't know what the hell is happening. I, yeah, I'm wearing a moon yarmulke. I don't I, know. I don't. Even, I can't even tell what this is. I can't either. Are you ready to rate yeah. it? Yeah. Three, two, one. And so, so again, yes, this is a one star image, but it can't be one stars because one stars is like no thought was put into it. <laughs> so, what star? so Photoshop has been done to this image. There's actually oh, oh, got it, got it, decent there's... lighting on the bag. So this is a two-star okay, image. This is a two-star image. Two. I don't think there's much more we need to say about this. God. Community gives it 3.13. Like, I don't know. Seriously. I don't know what the hell is going on there. What's going on <laughs> with the threes? We'll keep moving on. Yeah, so Patrick is bringing up the point right now with this genre of photography. Could we even have a one-star image? People were debating this on the critique itself where you upload the images. And people were still giving ones because a lot of people were uploading images that didn't even look like composites at all. It was just like garbage snapshot yeah. images. I don't think they read the rules at all. So for those, they'd have to be one. For everything else, I think this genre, if you're using Photoshop and using your brain at all, I think that that means it has to be at least a two. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, two stars. We agree. Uh, I feel like I've seen <clears throat> images with big, cartoony heads before that are well done. This one's not really doing it for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you got to say? Yeah? I do, you I you just... tore Spider-Man apart, and all you have to say about Big Head Man is yeah? I mean, I feel like like there's a lot of critiques that I can give in this. You don't even know where to begin. Yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's a lot, like, yeah. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just do more practice. <laughs> Moving on. Is that, was that so rude? We, that was even ruder than the Spider-Man. I mean, it but was. What, what do you say, though, to make it all better? Uh, no disrespect, though. No disrespect on this. <laughs> all right. Community gives it 2.34. Sometimes, sometimes when photography is, like, really good, I'll give the harshest critiques because it's, like, you can see there's, like, one little thing. If they change it, then it's just awesome image. But sometimes... When like the whole image just doesn't work, like the lighting, the right. photography, the list, that, the, you know, there's like 30 things, like, I just don't have anything to say. Well, Josh hates your image, but I have great news. He chose number seven as the lucky winner. So you won a $300 tutorial, so it works out. Congratulations. Next up, are you ready? This one's tough. I really want to give this a one. <laughs> Three, two, one, but I might have to give it a two. I don't know what the hell is going on in this picture. Um, it's like the most neon, like they, it's like they, <laughs> they, they went to vibrance or saturation and hit save and then reopen and saturation to 100 and save and then saturation to 100 and save. And then they have like this glowing white orb and they said, let's just take Peter Lick's moon and stick it right there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just overprocessed. <laughs> I mean, you, you ripped it apart on that one. <laughs> All right, I don't I'm, think I'm it's... laughing at your comments. It's, it's over. See, on this, I feel like there's a few things that could change. Number one, you want to show more detail sometimes in the foreground, like in the dark in the dark spot. Show more detail. It's more interesting. It's just too bright of brights, too dark of darks. It's just if you brought it more towards middle. Sky's too bright. Bring it down. It's too red. You know, bring it down. The moon needs a little glow to it to make it cooler. There you go. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah, great. 
Community score, 1.9. 1. 1. 1. This guy actually chose two of his images to be in the critique, and he showed his work. He showed all the different layers and everything that he used to make the image, which I thought was pretty cool to be able to see that. Because I gotta be honest. That's pretty amazing I, I, to do that. I wouldn't really think that this was much of a composite at all by seeing it. Maybe the background's depth of field is a little too shallow. And I, that might make me think that the background is a composite, but I don't think I would have guessed that the foreground was a composite. I mean, it's really interesting. The f I'm looking at the hair, like this is really, well, I mean, it's composited really well. Like, look at the hair. Look at the hair strands on the, on the like, look at that. Yeah. Like, it's super good. And, and they didn't shoot on green or anything. It's like they manually went in and... I mean, that's crazy. That's really... We do need to rate this. All right. I mean, okay. All right. Three, two, one. Two point five. Oh, you got a four? Wait, you gave this five? 2.5. 2.5, you can't do that, it's cheating. Three. Three, okay. I'm in between a three and a four on this one. Yeah, it's like, it's like usable, but to me it's not the most attractive image. Like, like I don't know what, what, how you, I, I feel like it needs more mood. But the community rates this one, 1.9. No, I think I think I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. I've I've written down here the community rated this 1.9. That's not true. I think it's three point something. We'll put the correct number in the video for you to see. But I, I think I made a mistake. I mean, look really quick, really quick. I think to make this better, lighting the people more dramatically, like doing doing like a just like a one light setup or something. You know, it just feels like they're too bright. Um, there's not much drama on them. Would change a lot. You know, okay. maybe adding some vignette anyway. Okay. Next. Next up, and I guess it's been built with just drips and stuff and just combining them together. Interesting idea. Okay. Are you ready? Three, one. two, one. Three stars. We agree. Um, I love the concept of this, and I feel like they've done an incredible job of making these splashes look like a flower, but it's... It's not polished <clears throat> enough that I could see this in a national ad campaign or something. Yeah, like I, I don't see it as being used for anything, you know? Like it can't, I, I wouldn't, like this is one of those images where I would spend hours and hours doing it and I'd be super proud about it, but then I couldn't use it. So like I wouldn't use this for a portfolio because it's, it's like good practice, like it's really good. Isn't that so frustrating practice. when you work on something for so long and then you're like, I'm so proud to share this. I'm so, so proud to share this. And then you you come back to it a day or two later and you go, I can't share this. It's, I've, I have a library. Well, I've deleted pictures from history. So I have images that I spent 20, 30 hours on. I just deleted. Like, I, I'm just so embarrassed of it. It's like, this is horrible. And I delete it. So, I mean, this is good practice. I think, you know, portfolio, not so much. So by that critique, it's really, you're giving it a two star. Yeah, it was like a two point. Needs something. work before hitting your portfolio. Oh, I kind it. of understand that. I just. Well, it's not like it needs work. It's like, well, yes, the technique is there. It's like if you just did a different photo. But yeah, you're right. Uh, but two but point you, can, you can imagine this. I mean, you've seen the picture. I can't remember the photographer's name, but he took the picture of the girls wearing the milk dresses. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It like, was, it's so perfect. It's so good. Yeah, and I could imagine this being done flawlessly as well. And I could imagine it being used as like a Verizon ad or something. I don't know what the catchphrase would be, but I could totally imagine this being done perfectly. And that's what I'm saying, like applied to something else would be cool. Community 3.52. This is one of the highest rated images. I was still saying, oh, ooh, that's cool. Okay, got it. Three, two, one, four stars. I think this might be my this favorite. This is my favorite, favorite. I love it. I think this was fantastic. I love the mood of this girl's mm. facial expression. I just totally love it. It's she looks so uninterested but cool at the same time, you know. And then adding the broken glass and the motion blur and everything. I think it looks awesome. I love it. So two, so two things. There's motion blur next to her hair on on. Uh, if you're looking in the photo, you know, on the left side, like right here. Yep. So I feel like. He could erase a little bit of that, tiny bit 
more. Might be a little, a little much. It's too much. I think yeah. you should raise a little bit of that. And then the other thing is on the on the face, it has this cool like tech technology stuff, you know, yeah. like circuits, whatever. Like I would, I would warp that. I would take that into like liquefy or even just use the warp tool and I'd warp it around the curves of the face. That is a good point. You know, because at this moment it feels like it's just a overlay. And it is it's just like flat over. You, like, yeah, whenever you put stuff, just kind of you got to fake it a little bit, but kind of curve it so it looks like it's around the cheek or something. That's interesting. I didn't that's, even consider that, but that's, that's all. Idea. I love the shot. Those freaking awesome. I love how there's blur in the foreground, like it's big. You know, it's perspective. It's like big images in the foreground, and yeah. Literally Community gives it three point one nine. Oh my gosh, they're tough, man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse. Yeah, I know it's weird. I it's refuse. Weird. I I disagree with the community. I refuse. Often. Look, also a little thing on her nose. Oh yeah, right under her nose, there's like a booger. <laughs> it's a, that's weird. You got a little get, little dot. Get rid of you got to get the booger out of there. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Three. Wait. 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 What's okay? Go. Three, two, one. Four stars. We agree again. Four point something. Because this is awesome. Yeah, I love this, and I don't know what the hell is going on here. But I don't know matter. if they're shooting up towards the sky, and then they they <clears throat> added a you know a horizon in there. But this looks so cool. To it's me. really good. It's like fine art. It's really cool. I love the. <clears throat> the contrast, the brights, the, you know, I'd say maybe on the left side, there's a tree that looks a little bit too, like, bright. Yep, I agree. I agree. <clears throat> That's a little strange. Turn it down. But I think it's really cool. I wish this weren't black, that tree. I wish it were, like, a green tree. It looks like a cutout of, right? Don't you think? I, you like yeah, I didn't notice it until you just said it, but... It's, like, just straight... It, does, it doesn't make any sense that you can see the green inside this tunnel <clears throat> but then on the tree itself you don't see any green yeah it just looks like a cutout like it'd be nice if it was green and then but we still give it four stars in the community i love it 3.13 <sighs> there's no they're making it tough way. man they're making there's it tough no for freaking you. way all right Ooh. oh okay oh so close no, I'm so interested close. to hear what your critique is. What so close is your Gosh, problem? dang it. Three, two, one. I went four, you went three. What is wrong with this image, Josh? It's, she's too small. Like yeah. literally, if she were placed like an inch right here, it would be the sexiest, coolest image. Like, like I know the folks is on the bags, but she seems- Wait, 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 wait. what do you want? You don't want, want her to be moved down. I want her to be moved. No, no, no. I want her to be bigger. 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 So do you want her feet to be in the same place and her head to be tired? No, or? no, no. I want her whole, so bigger. And then I want her to be in the middle of these three bags right there. Mm. Like her feet to be right in the middle of those three bags. And so she's like this. Like I guarantee that would be, I'm telling you, that would be awesome. Well, I'm interested now because that was the if first this thing. is a composite, the photographer can easily do that. You know, just like yeah, transform yeah. her, boop, and she's a little bigger right in the middle of the frame. I don't know that it bothers me. I don't know that it bothers Like, why Why do you think she needs to be bigger? Because these bags are so big? No, it's, it's, like, it's like this can be a really, really cool image, and what ruins it is her. Like her size and in relation to the frame, it's in mainly, relation to the bags, in relation to just I don't know everything. Plus, she's a little bit center. Like, I wish I could take this and 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 literally, what I would do is I'd replace the sky with something a little bit more dramatic. I mean, it's it's cool, but like a little bit more cloudy over here. Like, I would I would mess around with different skies, and I would make her bigger right here, and I would maybe make her dress is kind of weird. A little bit like I, I would make her dress maybe try to get another shot where it's flowing a little bit more it seems like it's covering up a lot of like her legs and stuff dude no this i don't <laughs> care what you say like this i mean i i you know respect your opinion on it i just really think no that, disrespect no bro. disrespect you suck horribly <laughs> as a person as no i'm just kidding dude no that's the first thing i saw i know i'm obsessed with this shot mm. because i'm like it feels like like i've done this before where you just make it a little bit bigger it's so close. Okay, tell me, what's your thought? You think it's I don't perfect? know. I don't, just don't know that I have that much of a critique of this image. I, I, 
Oh. Photographer, whoever took this, if you're interested in appeasing Josh here, and it's easy, if you have the Photoshop document, Okay, so so you have you have simply cropped into the shot. That's so much better to me. Really? Oh my! I mean, I like that too. I, I I'm not gonna say that crop is bad, but but having having a wide centered shot is also unique to me. You like it cropped in as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Patrick is agreeing with Josh that the girl is too small, but not necessarily that you need to enlarge the girl. But if you just crop into the image, put her on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. See, like, yeah, like if you just cropped, that's fine. But I, I think it'd be cool if you enlarged her too. But I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's right. really, it's really cool image. I love the bags. I wonder if the bags are composited. Probably not, because that would be. Yeah, that seems like insane. So difficult and the shadows, do, the shadows are really good on. Yeah, that. I don't know what's been composited in this image. It honestly, I honestly don't. Is it a composite? Because you know it, what the composite could be is I've got one bag and I'm gonna place it all around this and just Photoshop it in. But that, that's super tough. Like, look at the shadows on that. Like, look how no, detailed. No, 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 They're on location with one bag. The camera's stationary and they just move the bag and keep oh, shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. All right, let's move on. Uh, community score, 2.97. Super interesting. <sighs> Dude, I don't know on this one. Okay. Three, two, one. You went three, I went four. I'm in between 3. a three 5. and a four on this. Yeah, 3.5. There's literally, if you just crop it, like, I think it's better if you crop it differently. I, don't, I just don't, like, maybe. You don't like all the dead space on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It's a, it's kind of a weird crop. So. So much dead space, like, it's meaningless. I love the mood of this image. Totally. I love the, the posture of the spaceman. Yeah. It looks so great. And then I don't know what they've done to add water or like it's like very dust or something. It's really cool. But then what the hell is he wearing on his feet? It's like he's wearing <laughs> oven mitts on his feet and it's kind of wrecking the shot a little bit for me. Um, but, and then I see what you're saying too. It's like the bottom of the frame is so dark and so plain. It like takes up so much like this. Something like that? No, I mean I don't know. No, I I, I like Better. I like that. Just cropping in Just and cropping. making it more of a standard wide shot than a than a tall shot. I like that too. And I don't feel like you're losing anything. You still get that interesting rock that's down there on the left. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. There's something really magical about this shot that that pushed me to a four. It's I mean it was, yeah it's really close. I'm just messing around with crops. It's cool. I like that. Three point something. Community, no. 2.8. Dude, I'm trying to, <laughs> hmm. All right, all right. All right, now this one all right. looks pretty familiar. You've and done based on your community, like I'd guess that this <laughs> is a one. Exactly. Based on your community. Exactly. <laughs> Just kidding. No, your community is pretty, pretty good. Solid, great critiques, minus a couple. All right, so this one, okay. Three, two, one, two stars, we agree. Um, I, you know, I feel like they've got a good concept here, but I just feel like the Photoshop works a little sloppy. Yeah, yeah. Composites are hard, man. Like when you have to, piece, like especially this, you have to piece together everything. You have to like castle this, you have to like have an eye for where stuff goes. I mean, this is tough to critique. Um, it's too bright on her, the lighting's off on her. Yeah. I would shoot it more, maybe more dramatic lighting instead of like straight in front or I'd do more like top down a little bit, create more flattering light. Then I would, it's a little too bright around uh, her left arm. You know, she's blending in with the background too much. The, looks like there's some sort of but it doesn't really make much sense that there looks like there's some sort of storm behind her, yet there's also a sun in the storm. Yes, yes, That's yes. A yes. little the lighting, strange. Yeah, yeah. The is like, uh, yeah. And I think I think with these images, it's interesting to. It's like she's she's not even part of the shot. I'm looking, I'm looking right there. That's what I'm looking at. You know, like I'm not. I, I feel like my eye goes like straight, and I don't know what to look at. It's. I think she should be bigger. Anyway, all right. <laughs> That's the key. Make all the models bigger. Community <laughs> score, 
two point five seven. <clears throat> okay, next. What are we on? Next photo. Yeah. I'm taking a while. Okay. Uh, all, right, all right. Three, two, one. Whoa! Now we're two apart. Now I'm coming out fighting, Josh. <laughs> two, two stars. Come on! Like this is at least I could I could understand you giving it a three. What? How can this be two? This is certainly ready for someone's portfolio. Are we it's looking just, on the same? Image? Yeah, no? it's just, it's just, it seems like it's bad quality. Okay, well that's true. That's, I think I, I think this is a low res upload. I hate that more than anything. Oh like really? If it's a low res like this. You automatically rate but, low. But see, I don't think it's just a low res. I think that they put like crazy amounts of high pass filters and they already took from low res photos and smashed it together. That's the only thing I don't think is high quality. If it were shot with maybe a better yeah. camera, like, like it just doesn't, it's just very low quality. Okay, like so I'm, you have now, you have now pushed me to a three because the the bloomy high pass filter look. I can't, I just don't is like a, that is, is, is a little strong. I, I can't give it, I can't give it four anymore. I was very excited about this because <laughs> I just feel like the mood of this is so cool. I love, I love this dude's helmet. I love his outfit. I love this background. That it just cool. has this great vibe to it. But you're right. There's it just like been... the retouching filter effect on that, this. That's the only little, thing. That, that's... A little cheap, but not two, not two, three. Okay. I... All right, two point, two point eight. <laughs> two point eight. Well, let's see what the community says. Oh, you up. almost got it. Wow. Two point seven. Wow. Next up. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. Two stars. We agree. Uh, you know, I, I I feel like this is a very poor photograph in general. Like the lighting's not very good. The expression's really bad. Um, and then just adding purple smoke to a a pretty bad image already doesn't make it better in my mind. Yeah, and it's too far to the left. Like if you just, it would make it better if you had a better expression and if you literally just cropped it, don't you think? Something, and then you got rid of, so get rid of all the purple stuff, better facial expression, like replace the face or something. And I would crop in, maybe. I don't know so if redo agree. everything. So redo everything. <laughs> okay. Community, 2.21. All right. Dude, these are harsh. You're. you're Bring out the worst in me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the critique the community. It's not all right, me. all right. All right. So this is the same photographer from earlier, you know, that showed everything. And I I cool. thought you might like this image better than the other one with the two girls. Do you like this one better? I think I can tell it's the same. It's lacking mood. Oh. There's something about it's it's the same idea as before. It's lacking mood. It's like. I I think it might be with the lighting with the the actual models like his lighting. Or I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's it's a really good compositing. Like the hair is amazing, like how how he's compositing the hair and um, it just I don't know. Lacks. You gotta rate it. Oh, I got it. Three, two, uh, one, no, three. three. We agree. I'm in between a three and a four. I I feel like I can't remember the name of this photographer. I've seen all of his work, David. I've seen all of his work on F Stoppers. He does lots of cosplay stuff. I feel like he's a super talented photographer, but a lot of times he works with models that aren't particularly, like, it's, it's difficult when you're trying to make a Superman or whatever, and you know, the guy doesn't have the million dollar Superman costume and the yeah. Superman body and everything, but I feel like he does an amazing job for what he's working with. This one in particular, though, I feel like this model is great. And I feel like her outfit looks. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. She, I, I think, it, I think it's that it's flat. The whole image looks flat. There's no, so, there's no like layers to this. So, Even that is exactly trying. what I was about to say. There's two <clears throat> things that bother me. One, I don't know what character this is, but w what is going on with this monster? Like, it looks like it has some sort of birth defect or something. Like, why is its arm like th this? Is a person or a monster in the right side? It's right? like a really long leg that is. Yeah, and then, like, yeah, can, I don't know. You can see the background, like, right now. So. Yeah, I can't figure out what type of monster it is. Maybe if I knew this character, it would make sense. But then the fact, you know, that she's not looking at the monster, she's looking at 
the camera. It's like she's going to shoot me instead of this deformed monster. Yeah, you're right. It'd be nicer if she was like looking up shooting. But then I feel like this image could use a little color contrast on those different layers of the background. Because we do have four layers here. Yeah. But every layer has the same blue tones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I used to have I used to do I used to have this problem where like everything was the same. It just it just flattens everything out. You got to like have different tones. Like put put like haze, different exposure. Like maybe darken the background a little bit. Or that's that's hard. You know. Anyway, it's just too flat. Okay. Community gives it three point <clears throat> three. Definitely one of the highest rated ones still. All right. Community has not rated a number four. This is crazy. Well, so, you know, a lot of people rate it number four, but so many people rate it twos and threes that it lowers the oh, average. Interesting. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Two stars. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Here's the thing. It's pointless. It's a pointless image, you know. Dude, like you're going that hard? No, no. Like, I mean, I mean. Okay, their life let me is explain. Pointless. They should just give up. No, let me explain. Pointless image in that, like, it has no real purpose. This photographer has no purpose in life. <laughs> Gosh, the image. You, what? The image. The image, has, image of this photographer is point. The image, the shape of the photographer, image, and this photographer have no purpose. In he life. has no reason to live. Gosh, yes, that's exactly gosh, what I, I that's exactly what Make I said. Make sure you say no disrespect, bro. No disrespect, but that's exactly what I said. No. <laughs> I mean, to me it's like it's the the other thing is like it just has no purpose to me, that's all. So, this like, is a no this is it. a snapshot of a girl with a weird pose and weird facial expression that appears I believe this image is just blurry to begin with. And then you have just taken like blurry paints or whatever and and done the overlay in photoshop i think this is like a practice image you know it's like very it's like good practice to mess around with stuff but it's not like i agree it doesn't have a purpose so. i agree community 2.12 2. Uh, i mean have you ever asked how these photographers feel after your critiques <laughs> so i think i think it's funny people on youtube get mad at us they're like you guys are assholes in the critique or whatever and and i say well First of all, everyone is submitting their images to be critiqued. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, if we were just nice and like, good try, keep it up, this would not be entertaining in any way whatsoever, you know? So, like, I just want to be honest. If yeah, it's good, it's good. If it's I bad, agree. It's bad, I'm, right? just, for the, just for the record, I'm a nice guy, okay? Nobody believes that. All right. Next all right. Image? Are we? This is, this is the final image. Oh, this is the final image. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this is the same photographer that did another one, huh? Oh, really? Yeah, two photographers. I noticed the oh, logo. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I, I, and we and he was, it was good. It was a good shot. Three, two, one, four stars. We agree. I mean, I I could be pushed to a five. Really, I feel like really there's good. a couple a couple things that, you know, maybe are a little sloppy. That if you were hired by the next Jurassic World movie or whatever, I'm sure you'd spend more time perfecting it. But holy crap, I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, it's And really the cool good. thing about this <clears throat> submission is he posted a behind the scenes of how he made this. So it's a time lapse of him in Photoshop and everything. And I think some people might be complaining because I don't think he took any of these pictures. He didn't take the T-Rex? The I think the T-Rex one he took, but everything helped. No, even that, I, I can't remember where he got it from, but he was like grabbing all these images from stock mm -hmm. websites and stuff and building this. And there's together. no way you could take all these photos on your own. Like, that'd just be a nightmare. <laughs> to take all these on your own? Yeah, but like, I, where the I, heck I have get, like, to say, I've seen some and... people do some pretty amazing stuff with, with toys. Oh, So, true. you know, if you had, like, for instance, if this T Rex toy had the guns already. True. And then you got the T Rex bones, and then you just have one background plate from Iceland or whatever, you, you could shoot that on your own. Yeah. But he, I mean, this was probably like 30 images when okay, he Okay, so it. check this. So, best advice ever, Mario Olvera. You gotta create images that have a purpose. Like this is a cool shot, but nobody's gonna hire you for this. And I'm, Are I you saying he has no purpose in life either? That's exactly what I'm saying, no. I mean, like, to be honest, like, who's gonna hire you for this? Like, it's great practice, but like, are you gonna sell it to somebody? Is somebody gonna buy it? No, you know, 
who's going to actually see it and be like, I want to hire that photographer see, for T Rex? See, I feel like image. I feel like th this is marketable, especially in the whole comic book realm of things. I I could I could no, totally I mean, yeah, see this. Like maybe, if, but I mean, maybe it's for entertainment. Yeah, depend on the industry, but like. So so go ahead. What what was your advice? Like no, this just, is cool just, practice, but he shouldn't put this on his website. No, I mean put it on his website, but I mean I I used to do like really fun images like this, and and you run it past like you got to be realistic. Like who's gonna actually hire you? If here's the thing, if this is this would be in your portfolio if you're shooting entertainment, like movie posters and. It's a huge game industry. I mean, it's a huge industry, but it's extremely hard to get into. Yeah. And I think that his work isn't there yet. So okay. that's what I'm saying. Like, if it were to another level, like a Jurassic World poster, I feel like this is close. I mean, it's really close. Yeah, I mean, it is close. It is close. I'm just noticing like low quality things, like bones seem a little bit low quality, like bottom of the What about the, uh, the shadow of the metal plate that's holding the guns on the T-Rex back. Like that doesn't seem like it's fitting right yeah, yeah, on yeah. the T-Rex back. Yeah, it seems like it's too, yeah, the, the shadow there. I mean, see, and, and that's the thing though. I, I wanna see, I mean, it's really good. I feel like this is another practice image. I, I'd wanna see his work done in a more commercialized. Like I'd actually wanna see a movie poster, but that's what I'm saying. This isn't really, we were talking about this earlier, like clients hire you because of the exact same thing that that you do. Yep. So like, why not make this into a movie poster? So it's, so it's useful. You've commercialized your image. Well, if what you do turn you mean by that? You mean remove the guns from the T-Rex? No, or do you mean look, add text on this I image? Mean, I mean add text maybe, you know, like you gotta, so I talk about like commercializing work where like, like if it was, if it was like this and there's like text and it looks like it was a movie poster, then a movie poster company or a you know, big, whoever is gonna come and say like, oh, that, I see how I could use his work. But right now, I've just seen a lot of images like this that it just seems, it seems really good. It's just, you gotta like com commercialize, that makes sense, like commercialize it more where it could be useful for a company. Okay. Or well, entertainment, you the, disagree. No, no, I, I agree. I mean, I, like I agree, it. I just, the idea of making it a fake movie poster lowers the quality to me. It, it makes it seem cheap. It makes it feel like a college project to me rather than, holy crap, look at what type of art this guy's capable of creating. It's like, oh, he made a good movie poster for his I just don't know ninth grade class year. I mean, I agree with that. I just don't know like who's gonna hire him for this. Like who's really gonna hire him for this? I could see the guy at Bond who's working. They wouldn't, dude. They wouldn't. Like I can almost guarantee like it's good art, but <clears throat> but it's not, I don't know. Like Here's that, the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing though about movie posters. I mean, I've seen the work that Bond has done. Um, it's it's fantastic. But a lot of movie posters are really bad. Re like way worse than this. Okay, I agree with that. So, so movie, okay, so check this out. So I know this because I tried for a year to get into, and more than a year, to get into the entertainment industry, doing movie posters, whatever. And the interesting thing is, if you're a digital artist like this, you're a one-man show, Bond is like a 50, 60-man show. That's what they do, they do this. So you're not pitching this to Bond. Bond isn't gonna hire you for this. What they do is they hire photographers to just come in and take the photo and be gone. So if you're trying to use this to get into like movie posters, you would have to pitch it to uh, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers already goes through Bond. So you're up against a 60 man team. Or, or you'd get hired by Bond. What do you mean? Like you're acting like Bond has never hired someone before. No, no, they do hire, but they don't, they don't hire you don't think this is good enough to get hired? He, he could no. He could be an employee of Bond. That's what I'm saying. An employee. That's not, what I'm saying. Not a commercial. Well, sure, to get an employee job, that's great. Like. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm talking. I'm talking like to do his own shoot, where he's getting paid not forty thousand a year, but you know, forty thousand an image type thing. You know. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Blabbing on. That's. Well, the community gives it 3.29, and that wraps up this Critique the Community. If you would like to see more free content like this every single day, head over to fstoppers.com. You can uh, check out our full-length photography tutorials at fstoppers.com store.
What about you? Um, check out fulltimephotographer.com. Uh, that's where we focus on the business photography. So You can go there, you can pay him money, he'll tell you that your life has no purpose. <laughs> check it out. <laughs>